So, so it was just announced that uh, some people are going over to gather at the uh, Independence Mall where the free speech smoke up, smoke them if you got them 420 rally is going to be happening to go smoke down prohibition. It's been successful in the past and I'm hoping that today is no different. Uh, there's just an enhanced police presence and it was announced that there are some drug sniffing dogs, some canines as well. So people are taking whatever precautions they want to and then um, hopefully everyone's safe and, and ends up uh, ends up a peaceful event. So I'll keep the camera continuous as I as I go over to that rally. I'm not happy about the police presence, but the camera does make me feel a little safer. So here we go. <laughs> Arrest these baggers. Arrest Ben Bernanke. Arrest Mayor Nutter. Arrest the police officers today following their oath of office. Mr. Sir, for all your money goes to the private IRS. Or the private government. Our country is broke. We cannot afford to play from China. Alright. Save our constitutional law against the federal government. Imperial gun takes the money and we borrow that money and we borrow that money. The police work for us. We are not friends for the government. We are not friends for us. We are not friends for us. So you can see there's a blocked off metal barrier. This is different from past events. Hey brother. What do you think of all these cops? I'm not pleased. I'm not pleased either. Uh, Very interesting uh, setup. You know, this wouldn't be as much fun if there wasn't uh, some kind of butterflies type of thing. But right. You know the way I look at this is if they want to fucking arrest us, I'm not afraid to arrest it. You got arrested how many goddamn times? What it, you know, what is that going to say? Hey. Good. <laughs> what is that going to say? 
to, uh, if they arrest all these people. There. Right. So some strategies that I'd like to share with you that we've used in Keene when the police are present yeah. is that some people will roll up uh, joints of mint and uh, joints of joints, yeah. and the people pass the mint towards the cops and pass the joints away from the that cops. Sounds, that, sounds like a good one. that way there's plenty of weed, you can smell it, but the cops think that they've got you, and then you're passing the fake stuff towards them, so eventually when they do arrest somebody, there's a good chance it's going to be mint. And that's really going to embarrass them uh, and, and ruin their day. Literally, so. I wasn't prepared for this, and the thing is about it that's great is like maybe we're making an impact. Like The thing is, if they want to come down here and lock up a bunch of organizers for smoking marijuana and lock up some people, then maybe that's what we need, you know what I mean? Like Maybe we need that to happen so people can say enough is enough. And I'm willing to be you know, um, a sacrificial lamb in that situation to a certain extent. You know, yeah. um, but wow, we will not be intimidated. The uh, regardless if anyone is um, arrested, and I say this as a person who's endured plenty of arrests for acts of civil disobedience, it doesn't. Um, you have to do what's best for you, and I don't uh, look down on anyone who decides. Look, the police presence is not worth it to me. I am not going to get arrested for this. Uh, we made our stand before; it was successful. The police presence proves that they are afraid and that they want to quell this act of free speech and free expression. Yeah, we'll see what's gonna happen, I guess. I fucking huh? love free speech. Oh, fucking yeah. Fucking free speech. Fucking free. So that was N.A. Poe. He's one of the organizers of this event, and uh, you know, I'm concerned for him, and I want to make sure that everyone here is safe and doesn't end up in a cage. Um, certainly it's going to be a peaceful event, uh, but with all of the police presence, yeah. I'm concerned.